Hey everyone, got a quick Wrath of Math lesson for you today. We'll be talking about orientations of graphs. Let G be an undirected graph. Then, an orientation of G is a directed graph that's obtained by assigning a direction, or orienting, each edge of G. So this is just a way of going from an undirected graph to a directed graph. So let's check out an example. Here we've got an undirected graph. This is, of course, the complete graph on three vertices, and it's also a cycle with three vertices. Let's go ahead and copy and paste it to take a look at an orientation of this graph. And remember, just taking a look back up at our definition, we can obtain an orientation of a graph by assigning a direction to each edge of the graph. So let's go ahead and do that. We could say that this edge joining x and y has that direction. This edge from y to z has that direction. Let me, okay, okay, I'm having a hard time with this arrow. There we go, that looks all right. And then we'll say the edge joining x and z has that direction. And that's it. So if we call this graph on the left g, then this graph on the right is an orientation of g. And we call it an orientation of G because we have oriented each edge. We've given each edge a direction or orientation to create this directed graph. We could have got a different directed graph if we had oriented the edges differently. So this is just one possible orientation of G. And notice that our orientation of G has no symmetric edges. That means that no two vertices are adjacent both ways. For example, y is adjacent to x, but y is not adjacent from x because there's no edge joining x to y. Similarly, z is adjacent to x, but z is not adjacent from x. There's no directed edge going from x to z. So our orientation, again, has no symmetric edges. Of course, as long as we're starting with a simple undirected graph, any orientation of the graph is never going to have symmetric edges. In order for an orientation of a graph to have symmetric edges, the original graph would need to have multiple edges joining the same pair of vertices. For example, two edges joining y and z. Then we could assign one direction to one of those edges joining y to z, and assign the opposite direction to the other edge, and then we would have a pair of symmetric edges. But again, as long as we're only dealing with simple undirected graphs, any orientations will have no symmetric edges. And in my experience, when people talk about orientations of a graph, they're talking specifically about orientations of simple graphs. So multiple edges are not a possibility. So in an orientation of a graph, any time two vertices are adjacent, they'll only be adjacent in one direction. And there's only one other thing I want to point out. Notice that our original graph G, it is of course connected. So we can start at any vertex and get to any other vertex. We could go from y to x or y to z, we could go from z to y or z to x and so on. But notice that is not true in our orientation of the graph. We could travel from y to x or from y to z. We could also travel from z to x, but there's no way to get from z to y. There's also no way to get from x to any other vertex, since the out degree of x is equal to zero. There are no edges leaving x, so there's no way to get from x to any other vertex. So in this orientation of the graph, we lose that ability to travel from any vertex to any other vertex. However, we could have preserved that ability if we oriented the graph slightly differently. Say we oriented it like that. Then we could travel from y to x, y to z, x to z, x to y, z to y, and z to x. I won't say anything more about that for this lesson, but we'll talk about these ideas more later. Just keep that in mind that how we orient the graph can change how reachable different vertices are. Definitely an interesting detail that comes up now that we're talking about directed graphs. In future lessons, we'll also talk about some more special types of orientations. For example, an orientation of a complete graph, like we have here, since this is a complete graph on three vertices, an orientation of a complete graph is called a tournament. So that's pretty cool, and we'll talk more about tournaments in some later lessons, but I think we'll leave it there for now. Remember, given an undirected graph, 
and orientation of that graph is just a directed graph created by assigning a direction to each edge of the undirected graph. I hope this video helped you understand what orientations of graphs are. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my my math lessons. Links to his music in the description. Never to see the haunts Ooh, Waterloo Your marriage surrounds With the dead pedal blues To a meddling man Who chalks his talks But I can't be the last to